Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two weeks, uh, two week Princess Auto sale flyer, June seventh to the nineteenth of twenty twenty two. Well, by the looks of things, we got a big flyer this week. This might take us a few minutes to get through, but anyways, let's have a look to see what's coming up on sale. All right, Pro Cut thirty amp plasma cutter. Wow, that is cheap if it's any good. Let's see, uh, clean cut quarter inch, not too bad. Sever cut half inch, yeah, not too bad. It's not as good as my hypotherm, but uh, this, um, hmm, oh, it does need air, okay. Some of the new hypotherms now actually have a uh, built-in little air compressor. Makes its own air, I'm like, ooh, I like that idea. Anyways, that one doesn't. It's normally that's 488 bucks. That's a pretty good deal if it's if it's a decent machine. That is. Don't know much about it. Pro Point stuff from there is usually pretty good though. But I don't know. Well, we got some fans. 30 bucks for a strip plate. That's not bad, but that's still enough for that. Nice little creeper. Chicken pens even. Wow. Chicken coops. Butane fuel. There you go. Nice trailer jack. Work light. Look at this little. Ooh, ooh. I kind of like that. Not for that price though, but it's kind of neat with these. What kind of wheels would those be? I wonder. Plasticky. Um, powder coated steel. Aluminum include adapter. Blah blah blah. It doesn't say what kind of wheels there but I, I wouldn't want to lift too much with those and rely on those things getting crushed maybe but anyways nice little work light oh look at this Ooh, ooh, that's kind of neat propane I would guess not sure it looks like a little tank holder there independent heat controls temperature rating blah blah blah, blah dimensions limited quantities 36 inch griddle cook station so three feet wide they don't say how far this way but three by a foot and a bit probably yeah that's kind of neat thinking i thinking when we go camping but ah we do pretty good with what we got i guess well there'll be some advertisement stuff here we'll just zip through that like normal surplus 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 Big air conditioner, two sixty nine ninety nine. That's pretty cheap. Refurbished. You're taking a chance. A box of five pound box of number six inch and a quarter screws, drywall screws. Huh. Seven bucks. That's pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Some desks and lamps and stuff. Resistance band. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Coca Cola radio. If it didn't say Coca-Cola, it would be worth about 8 bucks, right? <laughs> but anyways. Umbrella for Batman. Ooh, keyboard, 20 bucks. That's pretty cheap. There's a uh, HDTV outdoor antenna again. Never tried one of them, but I guess uh, they work if you're out in the middle of nowhere. Fifty foot HDMI cable. Holy cow, that's a long cable. A six foot cable too. Vent mount phone holder. Magnetic vent mount phone holder. There you go. There's a nice little toolkit. Smartphone tablet repair toolkit. Three dollars and forty nine cents. They might as well just here you go at the door. Take one with you. Oh man, that's cheap. Tripod even. Battery operated liquid transfer pump. Hey, that's kind of cool. Huh. Wall outlet with some USBs. So that's kind of neat. Put your cigarette lighter with four USBs. 3H drive, some hand tools. Ah, neon LED lights. Cool. USB. Steering wheel covers. I got a couple of these little lights, something like that. They're not 
really that good. <laughs> Tiny little bit of light, but really, I think out of your phone you probably get more light, to be perfectly honest. They're not fantastic. Silicone caulking guns. Oh, look at this thing. Great big umbrella for your patio. Isn't that cool? 12 footer. Lawn leveling tool. Never heard of that before. Makes earth and dirt even. Removes unwanted dips. Interesting. Wouldn't that a rake do the same sort of thing? For $129? Oh boy. Expandable misting kit. Oh, cooling. I got you. Okay, for cooling yourself when it's hot out. There's some ratchet straps. Pole saw or saw, saw thingies. Ooh, octagonal pool. Pet pool. Hey. That's kind of cool. 9 volt DC gear motor. Got a pile of surplus stuff. Look at this thing. Oh, junk batteries. Sunbeam used to be pretty good, but I think they're just junk stuff now. That's kind of cool, though. Bamboo barbecue board. Scraper thing. Hotart broom. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool. A little light thing. Light ring. Sunglasses, some mittens. That's a lot of surplus this time around. There's some more trailer jacks, an electric trailer jacks. Those are be handy. I wonder how much. What do I want to say? Uh, lift power these things would actually have. Because when I uh, hook up my uh, my uh, torsion bars. Oh, pardon me. When I hook up my torsion bars, I kind of got to jack it up. It helps to kind of get the chains hooked on and then put the chains on and then you lower it down and then it tightens up. I don't know how much this would actually lift. So I don't know if it would actually be a good idea on the big travel trailer or not. These are a good idea, though. I've got one of these for one side, but two of them for $50. That's pretty good. Pretty good price. They uh, smoosh between, uh, well... Pretend this is the other double wheel, so you got two wheels down on the ground. You put it right in between the two of them and then and then jack that open a bit, and it squishes the two wheels and keeps them from moving. Kind of helps people stealing it too, right? Well, there's some axles and stuff. Fenders and wiring for your trailers. Some heat shrink tubing for your trailers. That's actually a pretty good deal. 505 piece terminal and connector splice set. 40 bucks. That's pretty good. Some wire loom. Chalk. Oh, these are the ones that, uh, yeah, the heat shrink ones. You put them together and then squish it and then shrink them down. Ooh. This is perfect. This is what I am needing here. I would like to replace my old bulb ones on my travel trailer. I actually got one that burnt out. There's a little bulb in the middle. These will probably have bulbs on each side. So that is good. We might have to just pop down when the sale starts and get some of them. I'm going to take a picture of them. Four two-inch double. Yeah. Clearance and marker lights. Ambers and reds. Okay. I wanted to kind of do... Uh, The rear lights, too. Now, I don't know whether I want to uh, just replace these, screw these right to the back again, or cut out the little oval and then actually flush mount these to the back of the trailer. I'd have to cut through the thing, though, right? Uh, through the, the siding and the, and the stuff. And I don't really want to do that, but you also need to have this license plate thing, so that might be a, not a bad idea, too. Submersible trailer like it. I don't really need submersible, though. Although, if they're going to be outside all the time, that's mostly submersible. I'll take a picture of that, too. Maybe I'll look at them if I go down. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's good to know. 
I also need to replace one of the tires on it. I think it was one of these, too. 225, 75, 15, if I believe I'm right. Yeah. And... Ooh, $170. Well, I'd probably just take my tire off and take it to my tire guy, get him to replace them. These look kind of... Shreddy looks kind of chintzy compared to this one even, right? So, yeah, I probably wouldn't buy those there. So, with some tire stuff. Ooh, wheelbarrow tires. Oh, boy, wheelbarrows. That's something else I need, too, is some of them. Used my last one the other day. Huh. ATV tires. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. RV roof vent cover. Now, I don't know if these things how... Yeah, UV stabilized. Okay. I believe that when I see that rotten off in a couple years. <laughs> Anyways, uh, tire or toe chains. That's good. Clamp lock. Now, I needed to replace one of mine. I don't know what I've done with it, and it's not... I don't see one here, but the... No, I don't see one, but it's basically a, like a lock like one of these, but it's for like the tongue. The tongue of the trailer. There's a little hole there that you can either put a clip through or sometimes if people like to lock them, I like to lock mine. I don't know where mine went. It doesn't it disappeared. So, uh, yeah, weird. Some trailer balls and stuff. Breakaway system. That's nice to have. I actually need to replace this cable too on my one big, big trailer as well. Uh, I keep forgetting about that. Oh, they got these straps on sale again. Remember, we got uh, a pair of them when we had to unload the sawmill. Oh, they got those again. Fold of utility steel ramp. That's kind of cool. Nice. Cargo machine things holders here. E track strip stuff. Some safety cones. What is that thing? OBD2 multifunction digital heads up display. Wow, a little mini CB radio. Huh. Dash cam. That's enough for that, isn't it? I guess they are kind of expensive. Some nice LED lights. Round halo headlights. Interesting. Well, that's a different little LED light bar, too. Amber beacon lights. Wow, they've got some nice stuff here. Even signals on these, one, I guess, or just amber lights, probably. There's your, uh, well, it's an interior vehicle. It kind of looks like the ones in the travel trailers. Ooh, wish you could hear one of these before you went and bought them. Ooh, even better, maybe. Three bell train horn, uh, 125 psi air pressure. Wow, that's enough air, isn't it? Simple strap. There you go. That's a cable I need there. Pretty cheap to buy the whole thing, maybe. Um, I wonder if I should take a picture of that too. Probably should replace mine before, you know, you need to actually use it. It just snaps because it's all, the cable's all rotten. There's a drill. I never heard of that company. Metabo or Metabo. Pro Point Composite Impact Air Wrench. Mm, might be all right. Ooh, there's a good set. 26-piece half-inch drive metric, metric deep impact socket. I wonder if they've got an SAE set, too. 10 mil to 36 mil. Nice. 160 bucks still, though. It's, it's not bad, but that's enough for me, anyways, for how much I use them. Paint tank for use with Power Fist paint spray gun sold separately. Oh, I got one of these little cutoff tools. They're pretty handy. I got one of these little, too, with my little burr tool in it. For metal eating, I got one of those too. Not this, it's not these exact ones, but 
Uh, I've got a couple of these actually air hammers. Little polisher, it's so cute. That's kind of like my little sander I got too. It's pretty good that we used on the car there. Some air fittings, air compressing stuff, air compressing stuff. Ooh, they got the dryer pellets on sale again, 40%. That's pretty good. I still got a box yet. I don't need them yet, but that's a pretty good sale. Really should put one of these in uh, the dryers um, in my uh, shed there for that air compressor because I noticed some water coming out of it last time. Good hose reel. I like them. Air guns. They're pretty good too. Yeah. Airline delivery kits, some drilly bits. Ooh, SDS uh, plus drill bits too, nice. Some ninja stars. <laughs> Scraper blade for your reciprocating saw. Hey, that's kind of cool. Wow, $20 for 75-piece uh, Dremel tool kit accessory kit. Little polishing wheels and stuff, that's pretty cool. For Dremel itself, that's actually a really good deal. Impact socket, no impact torsion screwdriver bits. That oh, okay, gotcha. Some little flap discs. These actually do work pretty good. It's really good for sharpening things too, like a lawnmower blade or uh, an axe or something. Some brushes, brushes, brushes. A little more advertising, huh? Well, there's some lifts. I kind of. Still wouldn't mind a lift, but I just really got nowhere for it. Sure, make my life a lot easier changing oil and things. Oh, man. Especially getting, you know, under a vehicle and stuff. Like this guy here. I don't know if I'd trust my truck up on that or something, you know. I'd rather have my truck up on, like, you know, not necessarily this, but, like, the whole, you know, thing you drive up on. These are all, like, post-lift things. I don't, eh, I don't know. Oh, they've got different ones now, though. Capacity 13,000 pounds. That's pretty heavy. Two post vehicle lifts. Yeah, you can see they're a little bit lighter, a little bit heavier, and then super heavy. This is like your garage style one. But I don't know by jacking up, you know, under the frame. I don't really like that idea too much. Yeah, like this kind here. You need to drive up, but this looks kind of chintzy. 9,000 pounds. Probably be fine. You drive right up on it, though, and then the whole thing goes up. But that might be all right. Lots of lifts and stuff. Wow. Pallet jacks. Some more lifts and stuff. Motorcycle lift. Engine cranes and stuff. Gantry crane. Jack stands. What is that thing? Four ton all in one hydraulic bottle jack. Also functions as a jack stand, lift range. Oh, that's a good idea. Jack stand, too. Nice. Clever, very clever. There's your cleaning supplies for your car. Right into the Oregon chain oil. <laughs> oil change mat. Hey, that's a good idea too. Tire holder. More cleaning stuff. Tire wet. Bondo. A12 refrigerant. Used to be a day where you, they wouldn't let you do that stuff, but it doesn't seem to matter anymore now. Shop towels. Well, they got a really big flyer this time around. Holy smokes. Now, that would be handy. Like, I've got, like, the vice grip kind of version of this for the oil, oil filters and stuff. But that might be kind of handy, too. Vacuum and bleed, brake bleed kit. There's a code, uh, OBD2 code reader. AL529. Of course it is. Oh, some sanding papers. Never tried one of these before. I guess they must work fairly good. Battery, battery, battery. I don't look at batteries too much here, but then the battery charger, solar battery chargers. That's all right, too. 2.8 watt. And the battery tester, fluid extractors. Ooh, that's pretty cheap. You know what this is? 
Keyed battery disconnect switch. This would be good for taking tractors and stuff to uh, the ferry. You hook your battery cable into here, and then the other cable from there down to the tractor, and then you can unhook it there. I'm going to take a picture of that too, maybe stock up a few of them. Change a couple of my tractors over to them, I think. And it prevents the drain too, yes. Helps deter theft. Although you could just jump these two and then jam it. Something in the key, the keyhole there. <laughs> Start it, I'm sure, but anyways. Noco booster stuff. Ooh, look at this panel. Wow, 180 watt. That's pretty good. Engine degreaser and some floor dry rust check. They're actually selling this stuff in store. Wow. Heavy duty barbecue grill cleaner. Thread locker. Look at all the thread locking stuff now. Man, I remember it was just like a couple of different kinds. Now it's all kinds of different stuff. Thread sealant. All the silicones too. Anti scissors. Silicone, silicone, silicone. Holy. All oh, the. the Whatever that says is high temp stuff. Right stuff. One minute. Wow, that's fast. And some epoxies. 500 degree epoxy. Wow. Sets in 10 minutes, cures in two. <laughs> Window repair kit. That's neat. Our TV silicone. Some uh, rampy ramps. Portable air conditioners, nice. Grass sweepers, lawn sweepers. Some little trailers. These I've had sort of one like this. It was junky. It all broke down in here where this tongue kind of mounts to the box. I guess I maybe had rocks in it. It was probably too heavy for it, and it ended up just breaking this here. It was so chintzy. Hence why I built my little green John Deere trailer that we built there. There's a big video, of course, on my channel of that. Professional submersible fountain and water pump. Waterfall pump. Wow. 250 bucks. Flat soaker hose is nice. Ooh, this would be a good idea too for the pumpkins. Eh, no, I don't think so. Garden sieve. Hose. Spraying nozzles. Oh, that's kind of cool. Little fishing boat guy. With paddles. Boat stuff. Ooh, pellet guns. Nice. Glock. Pop-up screen tent. Refrigerator cooler. Little portable guy. That's cool. Works with 12 volt or 120. Very nice. Nice little table here, 36 by 24, so 24 that way and 3 feet long. Hmm. Charcoal smoker. Ooh, that's a pretty good little set. Tap and die set. Socket adapters and U-joints. Measuring devices. You joint extension bars. Oh, that's cool. Never seen one of those before. That's neat. Crow's foot wrench set. Oh, another one. Torque wrench. Yeah, half inch drive. A laminate flooring siding cutter. <laughs> Interesting. Neat stuff there. Some little mini files. Needle file set. Nice. Vicey grips. Ooh, drain augers. Blech. Nut and bolt and washer kit. Oh, wow. Ooh, look kind of chintzy-ish. Not, not what I'm used to anyways. Oh, I love these little kits. Com extension compression springs. Cotter pins. Quick link ends. Nice. Throw an axe, huh? <laughs> Camp axe, I guess. Magnetic trays, casters, power things. I got one of these here. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's it. 
some power cords. Ooh, $649. I've got the Land Pride one of these, the orange one. Post Pounders, Gorilla Tape, Chicken Mesh. Bunch of wire now, too, there. Wow, they sell all the wire fence and stuff. That's pretty neat. A fence stretcher. Some bird feeding and right into fuel stuff. <laughs> 12 volt, 20 gallon a minute. 12 volt, 15 gallon a minute. Nice. The new fuel hose. That's pretty good. 20 foot fuel hose. 20 foot fuel hose. One inch for $70. Wow, that's cheap. 20 feet. That's way longer than you'd really need. I think most of them are maybe like 8 or 10 at the most, maybe, or 20. Wow. There's that uh, same battery upward transfer pump that was up higher. It's interesting because it's in there twice. Different uh, sort of picture, too. Tarps. Oh, I don't know why I can't quit yawning today. 50-piece assorted metal. Metric linchpin kit. Metric, eh? Wow, really? They even go into metric now? Oh, man. <laughs> well, these are good, too. The hitch pins. Four-gallon four rechargeable backpack sprayer. Wow. Or pump sprayer. Shelving units. Electric cable hoist. Parts washer. Tool bags and ladders. Wow, they got everything in the store. I don't know. They're not making the stores any bigger, but they seem to be bringing more stuff in all the time. There's a shop light. Four foot, 10,000 lumen. Lumen. LED linkable shop light. Wow, that's a decent one. It's really bright. Oh, that's kind of cool. Show it's a Chevy wrench bottle opener. There you go. It says Chevrolet. Ooh, look at that wood splitters. Fifteen hundred bucks. Eighteen hundred bucks. Thirty-five ton. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. Wow, we very nice. Metal firewood storage shed. Okay, gotcha. Chainsaw sharpener, chain puller, roller, chain, wait a minute, <laughs> From number 40 and number 50, roller chain puller, there we go. Little compressor, no, plate compactor, electric mixer, oh boy, battery powered lawnmowers now, oh boy. Some pressure washer soap and stuff, and pressure washers of course. Don't see that heated pressure washer on here anymore. Uh-oh. Some more hydraulic stuff. Some cylinders. And, oh, we're getting into welding stuff here now. What is this? Rolling pipe mach bending machine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bending brake. 130 amp inverter MIG gas flux cord welder. Looks about as... Chintzy is that one I got off of Amazon. <laughs> I think it was cheaper than that, though. Heavy-duty wire lug kit. Oh, yes. Nice 10-ton top, 10 ton bench top hydraulic shop press. Oh, look at this thing, 100 bucks. It looks kind of chintzy, doesn't it? Chuck, chuck size quarter inch, just for tiny, tiny little things. Vice mount bending brakes, that's cool. Welding cable sold by the foot. Number six, number four, number two, number one, and so on. Wow. Well, it looks like that's the end of our flyer. So that was a pretty, pretty long flyer. How many pages was that one? Give a page number. No, I don't think it does. Lots of pages. It's got to be over 60 anyways. So that is it for your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer. June 7th to the 19th of 2022. Thanks again for watching.
catch you all later. And uh, I might pop down and grab some of them lights from my travel trailer. I want to replace them. Uh, get rid of those regular bulb lights on there because they're uh, kind of crappy and they're acting up. Some of the lenses have kind of fallen off some of these things because, you know, they get sun kind of brittle and stuff. And, yeah, they fall off. So, But, anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. Happy shopping.